Hey, hey, Pimp Steam Team fans, this is your Pimp Daily Dose for October 6th. Brought to you by NBA 2K11 and the greatest of all time, Michael Jordan. I'm Ashley. Ooh. And I'm Yana. Mm. Today, Panasonic says we've got fun and games with the new jungle, but we're not so sure. And I've got tidbits from Matt Gamers, the Prince of Persia trilogy, and more Red Dead Redemption DLC. And I've got more tasty treats from Black Ops and Razor. I think it's fair to say that no one saw this coming. Panasonic have unveiled the Jungle, a portable handheld gaming device that will let you take your MMOs with you wherever you go. Early reports are saying that it will be running a custom Linux OS and feature a high-res screen, QWERTY keypad, touch D-pad, Wi-Fi and mini HDMI and USB ports. A browser-based Battlestar Galactica MMO will be launched along with it, as will a web TV show called Online Underground, created with Machinima. Reaction has been mixed so far. It ain't the prettiest thing, and after Panasonic's last effort back in 1993, the 3DO, we're not sure that this beastie is fit to be the king of the portable jungle either. More good news for Mac fans thanks to Valve. Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 are coming via Steam. In fact, number 2 was released yesterday, with number 1 still at least a couple of weeks away. PC and 360 owners, you can download a new lot of DLC for either game. The sacrifice for 560 MS points are around 8 bucks right now too. Moving right along, Ubisoft today confirmed that the rumors of Prince of Persia trilogy is a reality, but it's exclusive to PS3. You'll get new HD versions of The Sands of Time, Warrior Within, and The Two Thrones on one Blu-ray disc. And it's coming to Australia on November 18th for $69.95. And finally, Red Dead Redemption is set for another shot of DLC, but this time it's free. The Hunting and Trading Pack coming October 12th gives you two new outfits and challenges, plus a new animal to hunt, the mystical horned jackalope. The COD news just keeps on coming. Activision has just confirmed that Black Ops will support stereoscopic 3D on the PS3, Xbox 360 and PC. Of course, you'll need a 3D TV for your console or an NVIDIA 3D setup for PC and those funky glasses. But Treyarch has said that Black Ops has always been built with 3D in mind. And just in time for Cataclysm in December, Razer has announced limited editions of the world's best-selling MMO mouse, the Naga. The Naga Maelstrom features a swirling blue vortex, while the Naga Molten has fiery lava fissures, and yes, they're both fully illuminated. The Maelstrom and the Molten will cost $150 Aussie dollars when they're released in November. And that's your Pimp Daily Dose for October 6th. Tomorrow it's the first of our NBA 2K11 special features where we'll check out the Jordan challenges. And on Friday, the Pimp Steam team takes to the boards against the Adelaide 36ers to check out what's new in this year's game. See you then.